So what I first did is I made this Google slide template and I just kind of wrote out what I wanted it to say. So for example, I could copy and paste a text here if I wanted my students to read it. Maybe I want them to also annotate and I could just come in here and change any of these um, terms that I really want my students to focus on. And then the jot it. So right here again, I could add comprehension questions that my students really wanna focus in on. Um, I can also do that in Kami. So now that I've got my template figured out, I'm going to click this Kami button. In order to have this button, you do need the Kami extension. So now that I'm popping this over to Kami, what I'm going to do is because I have a PDF of the article, I am going to use split and merge. So everything came over in my document and I'm gonna click the hamburger and then I'm going to go to split and merge document. It's just gonna take a moment to process and open up in split and merge. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. And then once I hit continue, there's that. And then I'm going to go ahead and drop in that PDF that I have of the text. You can also access it from your Google Drive or OneDrive, wherever it's at, you're able to locate it. And now that I have this, I can call this read it and let's go ahead and maybe do like group one. And then I can add in or take away any of these different resources or I could reorganize them. And now I have my PDF added to my slides. I can also duplicate this. So maybe I needed um, a read it, group two, and I needed to create some scaffolds or maybe an extension activity for this group. Um, I am able to do that as well. Okay, and then once we're all done, I'm gonna hit export all, and I'm going to, you can either download the files and re-add them, or you can come in here and I can export it and I like to hit open with Kami. So now that I'm going to export this group one, I can add additional resources for my students. Okay, so now when it opens, we I could have gotten rid of this if I wanted to. Also down here, I can have my students then use the markup tool and they're able to highlight important things using the color coding. Um, students can also come over here and use the dictionary. If there's a word that they don't know, they're able to have that dictionary come to life. Um, I also like using Kami because I can highlight here and do the read the aloud. Gets left in Dependence Hall and, and it will read the article to those students that need that accommodation. Okay, so again, a lot of cool things. Also, as a teacher, I could come in here and say, okay, I really want to talk about this important fact right here. I can create a video and leave a video for my students to watch for additional context about what they're learning about. So all you do is click the video, you click, and then you would start recording that video and explaining that concept in real time. And then again, your students are able to watch that video or see that screen share if you really wanted to bring some evidence to light. Um, and then down at the bottom, this is where the students can grab a text box and they can write on their post-it note their ideas. They can also come in here and add comments. So if they wanna leave a voice comment and talk about what they're learning about, they can do that as well. You could also have this as a collaborative document where students are voice talking and then every single student would have this little dot and then they can write back and forth to each other using these features. Um, students could also use maybe a video if they wanted to go back and capture their screen or their ideas to answer a question showing the textual evidence they could do that as well. So lots of options here, but again, I think split and merge is going to be really helpful when you are creating these type of activities.